today we are going to discuss about algebra so in the chapter 12 we see that the fundamental concepts of algebra so what is the algebra algebra you know that it is a generalized arithmetic form in which the letters and the numbers we represent in the literal numbers or simply literals in arithmetic, normally we deal with specific numbers, the four fundamental operations, namely addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay. We are mainly operating these four symbols. Now we have to express the uncounted number in the form of algebra. Suppose we are going to a road. Now there are so many trees are there. If anyone asks you how many trees you see today, you cannot count it properly. That means this is the unknown number. So for any unknown number, we are using the literal numbers that is a b c up to x y z so all the numbers in the alphabets the small letters we are introducing this as literal numbers okay so now two type of literal numbers are there so one is constants and another one is variables. So what is the constants? Constants means when the number we are using, that means this is a fixed value. Suppose 4, 7, minus 1, minus 1 by 3. These are the constant value because the value are fixed here now what is the variables the so variable name means this is the unknown number suppose a b dot 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 up to z all are the variables okay so how many trees you count today a trees b trees if you say then you can put any value in the position of a and b for example, we know that D equals to 2 into R. So, diameter equals to 2 into radius. Now, here we can put any value of R, we get different diameter. So see that if we put R equals to 1, then 2 into 1, that is if we put r equals to 2 then 2 into 2 that is 4 if we put r equals to 3 this is 6 3 and this is so on as per the process so it cannot be fixed okay it's a variables when the value is fixed this is called constants note it down all of you Now, I will discuss about operations on literal and numbers. So now see that if we represent the literal numbers, they obey all the rules of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So all the rules have to maintain and obey. So firstly, we are discussing about addition. So in addition rule, suppose you are adding you have x number of balls in your hand x number of balls in your hand your mother give you another 6 ball to you ok so another 6 ball 
to you. So how many ball you have right now? That means this is a x plus 6. So in your hand how many balls? x plus 6. Because x is a unknown number. You don't count the number because he is a huge number. What, you, what in your mind you can put there and if you add with 6 this is the main number. This is the form of the addition. Okay. And it, it will uh, discuss as you can discuss as uh, the increases part. Suppose x is increases 6. Okay. This is a plus. Now number 2 this is subtraction. So in subtraction see that suppose you have y caps in your room. Your friend take two caps from you. Then how many caps in your hand? You have y minus two cap in your hand. Total cap you have y and your friend taking two. So that means y minus two. So y minus two cap in your hand. Note it down another Next one is multiplication. So what is the multiplication? Multiplication is suppose 1 large price is x rupees. Our large price is x rupees. Now you have to buy you have to buy Five lodgings. Then five lodgings price is five into x. That means five x. Okay. So five into x. That means five x. So when we bring like this, this is multiplication format. Okay. Now in number four, division. Division. So in division, see that. Suppose you have y rupees, you have in your hand y rupees, rupees y in your hand. You have to divide this rupees y into four equal parts, okay, into four equal parts, then divide into four equal parts. So, rupees y by four. So, this is the rupees y by four because we are dividing this into the four equal parts. So this is the multiplication and the division. Okay. Note it down a little. Now see that it's a very important thing. A repeated part. Repeated literals. So what is the repeated literals? Number one, see that if you add number of laterals repeatedly then x plus x plus x plus x that means 4x. Similarly, y plus y plus y equals to 3y. Okay. But if we are multiplying this, this is x into x into x into x. That means x to the power 4. The power of x is 4. How many x is there? 1, 2, 3, 4. That is why this is x to the power 4. Okay, the power of x is 4. Similarly, y into y into y equals to y cube. Okay, 
is a y cube because how many y is there? 1, 2, 3. That is y. This is y cube. The power of y is 3. And here how many x is there? 4. The power of x is 4. But only for the addition that is 3y and this is 4x. Mind is very important thing. This is mind very careful. So this is the called exponent of the this is called exponent. When the power is there, this is called exponential form of the value. Exponential form. Okay. And this is this is called the a base and this y y is called base okay y is called base here x is called base and the number is called this number is called this number is called index or power okay index or power okay this is called power so when we are multiplying this the number this is called base and this is called power Okay, the y is base here and 3 is power. Similarly, x is base here and 4 is power. Okay, so this is called exponential form of the literals. Now, we are going to the exercise. Now, in exercise 12a, see that in number 1, Write the following in mathematical form using sign and symbols. X increased by 23. That means X plus 23. Number 2. Y decreased by 15. That means Y minus 15. So this is the things you have to express. Okay. Next thing is that X minus Thrice y that means x minus 3y. Thrice y means 3y. Number 4 see that x taken away from 20 that means 20 minus x. Number 5 4 times x decreased by 5 times y. 4 times x decreased by 5 times y. Number 6. Sum of x and quotient of y by 10. So sum of x and quotient of y by 10. Number 7. In number 7 see that. Product of a and b subtracted from their sum. So a plus b minus a b. Next number 8. Quotient of a by 3 multiplied by the sum of b and 3. Multiplied b and 3. So this is the number 1. Okay. Please note it down. In next number, number 2, see that, write the following statements in mathematical form using sign and symbols. In number 1, see that, x exceeds 14 by 5. That means, x exceeds 14 by 5. Okay. Number 2. Twice x decreased by 9 gives 11. Twice x decreased by 9 gives 11. Okay. Number 3. 45 decreased by y. 45 decreased by y gives 29. Gives 29. Number 4, one third of the sum of x and 4 equals 10. So, sum of x plus 4 
by 3 equals to 10. Number 5. 16 less than the quotient of a by 2. Quotient of a by 2, 16 less than equals 8. Then number 6. See that 9 times of m, 9 times of m that means 9 into m is greater than 18. Okay. Next number 7. 7 is greater than twice p. 7 is greater than twice p. Number 8. The quotient of a by 6, the quotient of a by 6 less than 1. And number 9, 3 times of x is 12 less than thrice y. So, 3 times of x is less than twice y. That means 3x equals to 2y minus 12. Okay. This is the thing of number 2. Note it down a little bit. Now in number 3, you see that you have to write in the exponential form. So, see that a into a into given number 1, a into a into a into dot dot dot, this is 10 times. So, that means this is a to the power 10. Okay, this is a to the power 10. In the next problem, say that r into r into r into r up to 6 times. That means r to the power 6. Now, <clears throat> number 4, 3, 4 are same. 3 into 5 into p into p into q into q into r. This is given. So, you have to write in the exponential form. See that how many p is there, how many q are there. And the numbers is multiplied 3 into 5, 15. How many p? 2. That means p square. How many q? q. That means q square. R is alone, so r. So, 15 p square, q square, r. Okay. So, this is the form of the exponential form. Now, what is done all of you? Now, in number 4, see that. 6 x square y cube. This is given. That means you have to write in the product form. That means 2 into 3, this is 6. And how many x is there? 2. That means x into x. And how many y is there? 3. So y into y into y. Okay. Now again for uh, number 3, see that 2 p cube q cube r cube so that means 2 into p into p into p q into q into q and r into r into r okay this is the thing so you have to see the power and you have to break up in the same of the numbers so this is the introductory part of algebra so in the next class, we are going to discuss about the expression of the algebraic mode. So, thank you for today. Take care. Bye.